Uh, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, give my praise to you. I will fly. Shimmy, I will share. Brother Judah Mike coming with another quick uh, daily agitation through the spirit. All right, um, trying to keep it going through the spirit. Uh, and this one I want to touch on reading. All right? Are you doing this? Are you reading? Because ultimately reading is how we connect to the most high, how we get closer, how we get not as much understanding. Right? You can't go up to the uh ultimately praying, you know how you talk to the father too, but it's a lot of people you can't. You know, um a hey, reading is an important part of this, right? And I was gonna go through it through the spirit, right? So this uh I'm gonna get right into it. This is the book of Revelation, chapter one and verse number three, right? And it reads thus it says, Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy. So the Lord said, You bless when you read, because how? That's when the spirit room comes up with you. Right, that's where you're gonna get your knowledge with understanding from. Yeah, we got men who um, are set up to be teachers, but you gotta get that understanding through reading. Somebody can't show you. I mean, how you gonna know what somebody talks? Say if you got a teacher who's telling you this or that, but you never read that. Well, how you gonna get the understanding? You can't just say, "Oh, he told me so." No, you gotta see it physically. That's why we got the Bible, right? And um, the precepts, right? That's how we get the understanding, right? Let me continue on in this, and I'm going to get another precept. It says, Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. Right? So, blessed is he that readeth. That's the whole point. you got to be reading in the last days. Right? It's just period. Right? To seek out wisdom. Right? Let me get this precept. Right? Let me get another precept. In Deuteronomy chapter 17, now we know this talking about the kings, but hey, hey, in a sense we are kings, man. We them priests, right? Right? We them uh, a, a nation of priests, like you, right? So let me get this other precept, right? It's the book of Deuteronomy chapter seventeen, and verse number. I'm gonna start at verse number. Uh, I'm gonna start at nineteen. It says. Um, so like, yeah, I want to start at 18, but we know it's talking about the kings, but it's double to that which is, right? It says, and he, sh and it's like, and it shall be when he sit upon the throne of his kingdom that he shall write him a copy of this law in a book out of that which is before the priest, the Levites. This is the point I want to select like, yeah. it. says, and it shall be with him, and he shall read therein all the days of his life. Why is that? Because that's how we're going to get to understand it. we gotta be reading literally it's like literally uh, uh it's, cr it's crucial that we gotta read because that's how we gonna be able to especially men who want to be teachers can't say you're a teacher but don't read you might as well then the lord said uh, if any man speak let us speak as uh, oracles of god and you go to first peter chapter 4 and verse 11 so if you don't know those oracles or those things that's in the bible how are you gonna teach that to another person even teaching your wives how are you gonna teach that if you don't read if you don't understand that because how are you gonna have understanding if you ain't reading Right, let's continue on. Right, and it says, um, All the days of his life that he may learn to fear the Lord his God, to keep all the words of this, so like of this law in these statutes, and to do them. So, like it to do them. That's how you're gonna get it from literally doing, I mean, reading, and that's how you're gonna get that understanding. Right, let me get this precept, another precept in Psalms. Right, this is the book of Psalms, so like it, chapter 119. And verse number 10, I'm going to start at 104. It says, through thy precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. So literally the precepts, through the laws, right? How you get through the reading, though, ultimately. How you get the understanding. If you're not reading, how you going to understand something? How you going to break something down to somebody? you got to be reading Israel, all of us, right? So even men, women. Women, not even women. You can read this thing, too. Literally, right? Let me continue on. I'm gonna get another preset. No, so like I'm gonna keep the uh yeah, kind of, I'm gonna get another preset. Right? Let's get this in um the book of Acts, right? Chapter 17 and verse number eleven, right? Cause literally you gotta search the scriptures daily to see whether those things are so. And that's what they was doing, literally, and that's in the night book, right? Let me get this. This is the book of Acts, chapter 17. So like it, in verse number eleven. And it reads thus, it says, These were more noble than those in Thessalonica, in that, it's like in that they received the word with all readiness of mind. So they received the word, right? But what did they do, though? It said, In that they received the word with all readiness of mind, uh, Salakia, so and search the scriptures daily. Salakia, so and scripts to search the scriptures daily. 
whether those things were so. See that? They said they searched the scriptures daily whether those things were so. Literally, that's what we should be doing in these last days, right? Period, though. So, like, you know, I keep saying last days, but we are in the last days, but we got to be reading, period, for the Spirit to consult with us, you know? right? Let me get this other preset, all right? So, the just of it is, Israel, we should be reading these last days, building each other up, uh, studying and show that self approved, man. We, that's literally what we should be doing. Let me get this preset real quick. So, like, yeah. all right? So, that's the daily exhortation for the day reading right first segment we went to was praying this one is reading are you reading especially like we like i went to earlier for those who trying to teach you literally got to be reading right let me get this preset so like all right bear with me let me get this preset you literally gotta be reading it's literally crucial that we read all right so this the book of all right I quoted the preset. I, I, I uh, forgot the preset I was going to. Oh, Karen, okay, kind of so I can go over here. Kind of forgetting the preset, right? So this is the book of um, uh, this is the book of Timothy, right? Chapter. I'm gonna start at verse number. Um, so I can outside. Uh, damn dogs, right? This is the book of um. Right, kind of, this is what I want to get right here. Right, is this how we're going to prove it? I mean, well, I had quoted it earlier, but I want to get this earlier. So, like, I'm also, uh, damn, all hell breaking loose out here. All right, so this is the book of First Peter, chapter 4, and verse 11. All right, all right, I quoted it earlier, but I got to get it. All right, it's the book of First Peter, right, chapter 4, and verse number 11. It says this, now this is going into us who teach it, but ultimately, Hey, going into a period. This First Peter four and eleven. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. So literally, if you're a teacher, or if you're teaching your family, or if you breaking something down, or however you're doing, you gotta speak. Thus said the Lord. But how you gonna know that if you are not reading, if you're not studying, if you're not getting in this thing? You gotta know that by thus said the Lord. The Bible, right? Continue on. It says, if any man minister, let him do. As the ability which God giveth, that God in all things may be glorified through Hamashiach Yahusha, to whom be praise and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Right? So, we're going to get this precept again, and we're going to close out with this. This is the book of Revelation 1 and verse 3. This is what all Israel got to be doing in this day. And, and the challenge is, whatever you read in a day, they double it. Why not? Right? Go harder for the Lord. Hey, you can never exalt the Lord enough. You can never go hard for the Lord. Right? You always can exceed that, man. It's Revelation 1 and 3. Blesses he that readeth. Right? Blesses he that readeth. And they that hear the words of this prophecy. And keep those things which are written therein. For the time is at hand. And with that, Israel. Uh, stay reading. Stay praying. Stay diligent. Uh, be in the last days. Continue to endure with that. Shalom, Israel.